Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I got this really cool little microphone that I got for like $35 and I want to test it out tonight for a special occasion. So I am excited about this video because first of all I have not been on here in a really long time. I have been challenged a lot and Everything is always working out for me, so I'm becoming stronger and more knowledgeable and more educated, and when I do come back and I'm able to be back full time, it'll be well worth all the tribulations that I've gone through. So, thank you for giving me grace and not getting mad at me for being absent. I appreciate you. Tonight, or should I say, when I air this in the morning, this video is about my mom. I love my mom very much. She is awesome. My mom is strong. My mom is brave. My mom is selfless. My mom has always us first sometimes to her detriment I feel like sometimes now my mom doesn't really know what to do with herself just because she put us first for so long and it became such a pattern for her that she doesn't even know like how to do things for her you know like hobbies and things but either way I don't live near my mom, and um, we live very far apart, and I know that this is troubling to my mom, and that she wishes that we were closer. However, I might say that her and I might hurt each other if we lived closer. So just, you know, absence makes the heart grow fonder, you know? I wanted to take this opportunity to do like a little tribute to my mom because um, I didn't have, I didn't send anything to her and um, she likes it when I do stuff like this. She'll be like, I wish you played the violin, you know, that's what she'll, that's what she'll say. But I'm going to think about some memories and just share them with you all and tell you how great my mom is, okay? That's as far up as it goes. Okay. <sighs> Let's see. My mom, every birthday that I ever have, reminds me of that she um, was trying to give natural childbirth and something went wrong and they had to literally put her to sleep and rush her to the ER. And she said it was so scary and... Um, you know, and I can't imagine not to see your baby be delivered, you know, and then you just wake up. But either way, uh, my dad was there, you know, and um, my mom made it through, but it was scary, you know. So she tells me that every birthday that I have, okay. And um, I remember this one time when I was like four, I guess my mom was going to a wedding and um, I just cried and cried and cried and cried and cried. I remember it. I remember looking out the window and crying um, for my mom. And she was she was trying to go to a wedding because she was actually in the wedding. But I cried and cried so much that the person that was watching me like called my mom back. I was like, you have to come get your child. <laughs> like it was a friend of hers, but I guess she couldn't console me, so. And also, when I was younger, um, my mom stayed home for like a while. Um, after my brother was born, she still stayed home for a little bit and then she went to work um, when we got old enough. But my mom watched a lot of other kids so that she could stay home with us. And um, my mom would like take like nine kids to the um, park. Like she watched so many kids to like make ends meet, her and my dad so she could stay home with us 
And um, I remember all the kids, you know. And um, we would go to the park, we would go to all the places, but I just remember like my mom was my hero, you know. And uh, I just loved being around her. And, uh, you know, I wanted to be like her when I got older, you know. And um, so thus we have me now, right? Um, I remember my mom taking me to uh, dance practices like every night of the week so that we could get ready for our um, productions that we put on like two times a year, which meant that we like practice six days a week, sometimes seven. Um, and it was like twice a year. It was, it was like we, it wasn't just once a year. We did like a, we did, always did the Nutcracker and then we always had a spring show. So like my mom and dad carted me and my brother around all the time to these extracurricular activities um, so that we would thrive and just plug into our gifts and uh, you know really they didn't take time for themselves like I I wish they had a little bit because they had dreams too you know there's things that my mom wanted to do there's things my dad wanted to do and they should have I, I believe as a family unit each person is important and each person needs to be able to express themselves and, and, tr and work on what they want to work on. I don't think that it should just be the parents sacrificing themselves for the children because that leads to resentment and bitterness and, and you know, I believe that each individual should be able to work on the learning and education and things or gifts or whatever they want to do, you know. And I, f I feel bad for my parents because they just plugged into us so much, you know. And I think it's because their parents didn't really do that. And so they just went the opposite spectrum, you know. Um, when I graduated high school and we went to prom, my mom rented a Mustang for me and Danny Singer. Danny Singer had one, got to drive one, and I got to drive one. There was a problem. We gave Megan Paston our money for our um, Hummer limo, me and Danny did, and she used it and spent it and then said that, I don't remember if she said we never gave it to her or if she said that um, we just weren't allowed to come, but like we, we fucking gave her the money. Anyways, my mom felt so bad that she went out and, this is after my dad had passed, she went out and she bought, or rented, um, Mustangs convertibles for me and Danny to drive to prep and that was really cool. And, uh, you know, I remember my mom being really, really cool, you know, when I, when I was younger, I mean, she just was really easygoing and like, you know, be free kind of like my mom, my dad was more like strict and restrictive, you know, and my mom at that point wasn't strict and restrictive. She was like, it's okay, you know, like, and kind of how I am with Stevie now with Sean, you know, and, um, yeah, I mean, my mom's just been a huge blessing in my life. First of all, she gave me life. She carried me into the world. She nurtured me until I was able to eat food. Um, I mean, my mom's awesome. I love my mom. My mom irritates me. I'm sure I irritate her, you know? Um, but she's great and I love her. And I just want to take a few minutes and tell you guys about her because you don't know my mom. Her name is Karen. Her full name, her full first name is Catherine. Or excuse me, I'm sorry. Yeah, is it? Catherine. What's her middle name? Karen Catherine. Is it Karen? No, it's not. Karen. What? What's her middle name? I forgot. I thought her first name was Catherine. Maybe it's Karen and maybe her middle name was Catherine. I'm going to have to ask her. Wow. But, um, my grandma, her mom is still alive. And, um, 
their relationship is a little bit strained. I hope that my mom can be a little bit more understanding of my grandma and just accept her right where she's at, you know, and just not try to change her, you know, because my Nana, actually, my name is Jacqueline and my Nana's name is Jacqueline. Now, my Nana will tell you that my mom named me after her. My mom will tell you a different story. My mom will just tell you that she loved the name Jacqueline. So, but my Nana is great too. And, um, I know my Nana is really, you know, she's stuck in her ways and stuff. But, like, I do love my Nana. And, um, I'm hoping that my mom and my Nana can mend their relationship. That's a desire that I have. That's a hope that I have. And, but I just want to tell you guys how great my mom is. She's really fantastic. She, um, oh, and my mom also always builds us up. Like, my mom will always encourage. There's a couple things that my mom, um, will, like, judge us on. And she's learning that, too, because she's learning that doesn't help. But my mom, for the most part, always builds us up, lifts us up. Um, and just loves us and she'll always give us words of encouragement and I appreciate that so much and um, she's always been there for me whenever I've needed her she's my mom has always been there um, I can't think of a time when my mom hasn't been there for me and I really appreciate that I really do from the bottom of my heart because some people don't have that, you know? And, um, yeah, my mom's great. She really is. She likes frogs. She's got green eyes. Her favorite color is green. She has, like, blonde hair. It's short now. She used to have a, like, um, I was gonna say, like, a poodle. I didn't mean that in a mean way, but... She used to have it, like, um, permed, you know, and, um, yeah, she loves, um, Buicks. My mom used to have Buick with Saber that she, like, was so sad about having to give up, and then she got another one, and then, or, so it was, like, a park view or something, I don't know, maybe it was a little Saber, I can't remember, but, either way, my mom's great, she really is, I just wish that someday like she knows how great she is and we'll just like let herself be and like my mom used to not care about what people th thought about her and um my mom just used to like just be like such a free spirit and I feel like she's just not free right now and she's just gone through a lot my dad passed away very suddenly when I was 15 and, uh, my mom's just really gone through a lot since then. And she is with somebody who's absolutely amazing to her. Coincidentally enough, his birthday is my dad's death day. Um, but he's great to us. And he's like a second dad and I love him. Um, but my hope for my mom is just to really find herself and just thrive in her gifts and what she loves and uh you just want to see her blossom you know she deserves it so i just want to tell you a little bit about my mom that's all i have it's like midnight let me see let me look at the clock yeah it's quarter to one i need to go to bed but i wanted to get this so i could post it so my mom could find it first thing in the morning so i hope you Mom, I love you. You're an angel. You're beautiful. You're special. And I am so thankful that you're my mom. And I love you. And I can't